It's every Santa Monica stream. I have laryngitis. I won't be able to talk too much. We are at Memorial Park in Santa Monica, and we're going to go into a little hidden room for a great find that will help your fitness needs. I brought special friends with me to talk to you about this hidden gem at Memorial Park. First, Brad, you're the manager of community recreation for the city of Santa Monica. What's your full name? My name is Brad Albert. This young man I've known since you were just a wee little tyke at the Boys Club of Santa Monica. You're uh, Tony Todd. Yes, sir. My name is Tony Todd. And, and Tony, I did a Brock in your block with you about a year ago. We were at your friend Charlie Sheen's house, and we talked about sports and acting and life in general growing up and staying in Santa Monica. Tony, you just had a new project, I understand. It's a film that just came out. Tell us about it. Well, the film is called Black Panther, and worldwide right now is at $500 million. But the best part is I consider you now, Phil, my good luck charm. And why is that, Tony? Well, like you said earlier about... Last year around this time, I did Brock on Your Block, and from that, another Samuel High alumni happened to see the show. A day or two later, I get a text from Lisa Satriano, like the number one first AD in Hollywood. She worked on Spider-Man, Straight Outta Compton, just tons of great movies. And her quote to me was, she sent me a text saying, Tony, is this still you? I sent her back a uh, text saying, uh, what's up, big time, with a photo of myself and Ronald McDonald. And her next text to me was, I would like to know if you would like to work on my film, Marvel Studios Black Panther, for about two or three months in Atlanta. And from that interview, it happened. I get there about four in the afternoon, and then I get a call from production at about 6 p.m. They said, Tony, you have to be on the set by 7, so you have to leave the hotel by 6 a.m. So I get there. And we go into the gymnasium, and we're there from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m., one hour break, and it's just training, push-ups, sit-ups, uh, flips, sprinting, everything for eight straight hours. It paid off. Brad, you were not in a movie. I was not. No, that's pretty exciting, though. But you have been working in Santa Monica now for two and a half years? Almost three. Almost three years now. And, and yeah. that's fantastic. And you work in our parks, which I treasure because I used to be chair of the Recreation and Parks Commission for many years. And I, like Tony, grew up in Santa Monica. I grew up in mid-cities. You grew up in the south side of Santa Monica where they had all the great athletes. Right. I was a north boy. You were a south boy. Nothing wrong with that. And, and Santa Monica is a special place for all of us. Now, Brad, I understand we have this little hidden gem here in Memorial Park. So why don't you tell us a little bit about it? We're here at the Memorial Park Fitness Center, located right on 14th and Olympic. Very easy, centrally located. Free parking. Free parking. There's a train station across the street here, so really easy to get to. You can bike, walk, take the train, take the bus, anything. It's kind of a lower key gym, very affordable, very laid back. People come, they go. Really easy place to come and get a great workout in. So, um, where's the swimming pool? Where's the jacuzzi? Not here. <laughs> but there is a gym next door. There sure is. In, in the historic Memorial Park gym, that's a beloved, really a basketball icon in the community where people um, come in and play drop-in basketball. We have mm -hmm. basketball leagues. We have NBA teams that come in and practice. Um, we have film shoots, volleyball, all kinds of stuff. And this is a great complex with the Little League fields with soccer fields, with softball fields, with the Police Activities League gym has part of this complex as well. And this is absolutely the heart of Santa Monica's fitness, of Santa Monica's wellness. And using this gym is another way to stay fit. I hit 64 years old, but I understand I can use this gym for... You can use this gym for 50 plus residents, $12 a month. Wait a minute, that's $12 a month. Now, my gym, which obviously I'm not going to the way I should be, <laughs> but my gym is 130 a month. So let me repeat that. It's how much a month? $12 a month for those 15 over. And if you're under 50? It is $24 a month. 
24 dollars a month so, very, so very affordable. residents can use this inexpensively two hours free parking i want tony and you to walk around the gym Absolutely. and show us some of the equipment and use some of the equipment tony are you game for this since the last time i touched a weight was probably at santa monica high school and i don't want to tell you the what? year it was that long ago <laughs> so show me what you got and i'm you know Now we're transferring over to the lat pull-down machines to work on those lats, right? Yep. So I think, uh, let me see, my weight, I think I'm going to stick. I think I'm, I can do 40 on this. No <laughs> matter 40. Well, the lats are right down here under the arms. Oh, Tony's going to have those. Yeah. You used to have those? I used to have two of those. Oh, yeah. man. So Tony does enough of these. He's going to be able to fly out of this room because his lats down here will be that wide and that muscular. So, I think it'd take about a couple more thousand reps, so that'll and be we'll, the, we'll, we'll be there. That'll be for the next Marvel film. Yeah, absolutely. Great job, Tony. Oh. Remember to breathe. Remember to breathe. Whew. Looks good. Mm. Wow. Yeah. Can you come forward this way as well? Go either way you want to. Oh, yep. Wow. All the way up, all the way down. When you're doing something like this, should you do how many reps? 12 uh, it depends. Probably the average is 8 to 12 eight reps, to 12. usually three or four sets. Right. And he is working way. on... As <laughs> a matter of fact, let me just go there. Yeah. Okay. And these are called tricep press downs, and he's working on what we call the horseshoe oh, right okay. here. And, and Tony's going to do some, some reps here for us. Yeah. Tony, go ahead and, and hammer him out, man. Here we go. Oh, oh okay. I got All right. Good form, breathe, do a good job so you can see the horseshoe right here on the back of his arm. So he's doing a great job. You're going to be so ready for your next film, it's not even going to be believable. Yeah, as long as I can continue to do it with like 25 to 30 pounds, we'll be just fine. The good news is you could do it with any poundage you want to here. Very easy. All right, so so we had the before Tony. Right. Now we have the after Tony. But look at the form. Put your your hands should be in here, right? Am I right? You're the trainer. Your your arms should be bring I'm right in. here. No, bring them in closer. Not really. All right. All right. Now, okay, no. You know, give me a set about twenty. That's two. I really don't know who's training who here. Yeah. I don't. But Phil's still smiling, so. Smiling because there's no weight on this. I just realized Tony was faking it for the camera. No, no, Tony wasn't faking it. No, he wasn't. Ah. He's done four reps. There's nothing going on here. He's done four reps. He's up to know, I thought Tony had more guns than that. There's nothing here. I'm not. Well, I can't These are just good genetics. Good genetics. That's We all need those, don't we? Here, the midsection, really important for those people who have maybe a bad back. So Tony, go ahead and give us some sit-ups here. One, two. As you can see, Tony's got really good form here. He's working those abs. Really, really important that you pay attention to what they call your core, which is your abs and your lower back. Really important for your posture, for your health, uh, and to feel good in life. And really, activity is really all about feeling good. And Tony's doing a great job. He's starting to strain a little yeah, bit. No, day. he says he yeah. could do it all day. Do this all day. How many do? A couple thousand, maybe? If you want me to. Okay. I wouldn't mind uh, doing this. And maybe they have joint problems or, you know, knee problems or something like that. But I prefer to get outdoors and run. You know, that's a great point because in community recreation, we just want people to be active. We want them to be outside, in our parks, at the beach, on the bike pass, walking, kids, adults, family members, enjoying each other, breathing the fresh ocean air that we have here, and we have wonderful opportunities throughout the city. We even let SC people in. I hope you don't edit this. <laughs> right about that. Once the troll, you, you don't, don't edit the troll. That's right. I hope you don't edit I, this. I understand you went to Crenshaw, where I used to coach and teach. You work at Santa Monica High School now. So, brother, you're allowed to wear that SC <laughs> stuff. Good to meet you, man. Okay, get a good workout in. We have a lot of wonderful programs from aquatics to community classes. And, and tell me, you're doing something. You're taking Rexcape. Our community recreation magazine, you're taking that online? We are. April 16th, we are launching the digital Rexcape, which will be the one place you can go to 
for everything recreation. You look up what you want, you click the link, it takes you right to the registration. So we're real excited about that. Our city is a city that talks about wellness a lot. We talk about getting people outside to work out. This is another option for you. This is something I'm gonna take advantage of. If you wanna come see me at the Memorial Park, Jim, I'll be hiding here in the corner pretending to work out. Thank you, Tony. Congratulations on the movie. I know you're going to be doing a lot more stunts. You've done a lot of acting over your career, and we're happy you are an icon of Santa Monica for all of our kids coming up. Mm -hmm. You're the example. Well, thank you very much. I'd like to thank you and especially also Lisa Satriano for making this happen. And you know, I'm thinking about leaving here and going to play the lottery. So since you're my good luck charm now, so <laughs> I, think you can well, I want a percentage of that lottery, Brad. No good to see you. <laughs> For Brock and your block, I'm Phil Brock. We'll see you next time.